you. Let God make every addition. And let God make every subtraction. Without you fighting him. Wow. Don't fight it. Allow him to transform you. Because that is what he's trying to do. Yes, you had to go through it. Yes, you had to do it. But it wasn't forever. It was to create a storyline for your testimony. Wow. For people to have something tangible to say, yeah, they understand how I feel. They, they've been through what I've been through. And, and if they were able to get through it, then I can get through it too. It ain't for you to stay stuck and wonder for 40 years in the wilderness and never see what God promised you. Glory be to God. Somebody lift your hands and give God glory. There are some things and people that 
that you're familiar with. There's some attitudes that you're familiar with. There's some uh, behaviors that you're familiar with. And God said, you need to release yourself from them so I can take you to destiny. Amen. Because your death is not dying. Death is coming to church and dancing and stop. Amen. Amen. Death says, I have grace so I can keep doing it. Paul said, all things are lawful, but they're not expedient. Wow. You can't do it, but what's going to cost you? Wow. I'm done preaching now. I, I, I'm here to preach. But the Holy Ghost spoke to me as I was there. He asked me to stand up and talk to you. Every one of us, including the person talking, there are some things before us that seem that they make sense and they feed our flesh good. And we can cover in grace. Y'all ain't saying that here. Y'all ain't saying that here. But if you want destiny, I feel like preaching that many babies. Right. Right. If you want destiny, you have to learn how to die to what you know you can't have. Come on, sir. To have what it is that you really want. Y'all ain't saying that here. I'm, this is my last time I'm going to say it. Please hear me. Please see the glory of God in my life. This is by the, a divine appointment. Your flesh is going to talk to you about this. But every Negro in here, and I don't see nobody else but us. Someone say amen. <laughs> Every one of us have a decision before us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Listen. Glory, Every Every one of us, I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Every one of us have a decision before us. Yeah. And you're going to have to decide, do I want to give up so I can have, or do I can keep and stay stuck? My God. Change, 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 change. Everybody wants change. Everybody don't like the price of change. Because the price of change, but then it means I gotta be uncomfortable yeah. for a minute. Because I'm going from one realm to the next. Oh, God. But here, what I keep hearing, thank you. Thank you. What I keep hearing is you have a choice to make. And you can go home and you leave here and justify what you want to do. But the reality is, can I talk to y'all? God has already told you what you need to do. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go from time. 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 Yeah. Somebody knock the hand with me. He already told you what you need to do. But it does not match what you desire. It does not match what you want. It does not match what they said. It matches y'all are saying that. And you don't want to release those things of the flesh. I'm not talking here, so I'm going to just let y'all go home. But hear me, Pastor Roy. Hear me, Pastor Jared. Hear me, all you ministers. This is a destiny decision for you. Everyone in here, Pastor McCullough. See, listen. This is the last week of August. I told you, you can hear me, September is taking you to another dimension. Now, are you going to walk in that dimension or stay stuck in your understanding? Hallelujah. Just because it's lawful does not mean it's expedient. Just because it's lawful doesn't mean you, you can do it. You have the right to do it. But some things, I'm done talking here. Some things, baby, you can't carry with you. Where you going? Some things and some people you have to leave behind you. Easy. And everybody wants to hear it, but nobody wants to do it. We want to shout about this, but when that feeling kick up, some of y'all, Miss Vickers, have to make some decision about your ministry future and the people you're listening to. I, God, have your way. Whatever you listen to feeds your spirit, and eventually, if you keep hearing, it's gonna get you. Y'all ain't saying that. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't saying that. But I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Whoever's going to do the rest of the program, you can come up now. But I want you to hear the voice of this apostle. September 1st, 2018. Nine months, fulfillment, and new birth. Listen, listen. Everything in your life is going to change in the realm of the spirit. You got to decide whether you want that to fall on you. I'm going to myself.